When the Portland Trailblazers selected Scoot Henderson number three overall in the 2023 NBA draft, it meant things were changing. It made it overwhelmingly likely that Damian Lillard, arguably the greatest player in franchise history, would not return for the 2024 season. He requested a trade on the first day of free agency, and although he hasn't been dealt yet, it's being reported they hope to do so before the start of training camp. He spent the past 11 seasons with Portland and was a star from the start, averaging 19 points per game as a rookie. Him finally asking out signals the end of an era, but with that brings the start of a new one. They have the second best prospect from this year's NBA draft, and most insiders claim Scoot would have gone first overall in most draft years. They also have one of the league's highest upside youngsters in Shaden Sharp, who has even gotten comparisons as high as Kobe Bryant. The final and most proven member of their young big three is Anthony Simons, who's sort of a Damian Lillard light, and averaged 21 points per game and attempted 9 threes per game last season. The team has some very high-end young talent, and the future is bright in Portland. That doesn't even account for the players they could get back in the Lillard trade. All three of their new core are 24 or younger, and will all become much better than they are right now. They also have a very good player right now in Jeremy Grant, who will likely be dealt for more young pieces at the 2024 trade deadline. The team is going from no man's land over the past couple seasons to a team with a clear path moving forward. I'd call that a win. The Portland Trailblazers have an insanely bright future. Now let's take a deeper look at why. Before we get into the exciting new future in Portland, if you enjoy my content and watch a few videos of mine, think about subscribing. 91% of my viewers are actually not subscribed, so if you watched me before and enjoy the content, drop a sub and comment down below. It really helps the channel. If we're being honest, the Blazers likely won't be very good this season. But the team is not is now a rebuilding one, so that's not really a problem. However, it will be a change for the fans, as the team made the playoffs in 8 out of Lillard's 11 seasons with the team. But they do have some experience as the team has tanked at the end of the last two seasons. A lot of fans didn't love it, as the product on the floor was pretty bad. But it worked, as it got the team two guys with star upside in Shaden Sharp and Scoot Henderson. When you add those two to Simons, it makes for one of the league's best young cores. It's actually impressive that it's been built so quickly. However, Vegas has no idea how to predict the team, as the Dame situation still hasn't been resolved. They're the only team off the board at the moment when it comes to win totals, meaning they have no prediction for their season at all. However, when talking about their season today, I'll do so assuming that Lillard will not be playing for Portland. So while the team might not be great, I do believe it'll be a full season that flashes a lot of upside. But that depends on the players. So let's take a look at the impact guys for Portland. When talking about the Blazers, I think you now have to start with Scoot Henderson. He's one of the best guard prospects to come into the league in some time, and Portland was very lucky he fell to them at number 3. He spent two seasons with the G League Ignite, so he has plenty of experience around other pros and with NBA trainers. He's built like a linebacker, and even at the NBA level he will go through players' chests and finish at the rim. He fits the extremely athletic point guard mold and drew heavy comparisons to Russell Westbrook. In the G League showcase last season, he averaged 21 points, 6 assists, 5 rebounds, and 2 steals per game. Some have expressed concern about his 3 point shot, but he did shoot 47% in the showcase last season. He was looking good in the summer league as well before going down with an injury. He even got Bill Simmons to really jump on the bandwagon of him being a future star, and even posted a YouTube video claiming as such. It was something many others of us already believed, but he proved it once again in Vegas, putting up 15 points in just 21 minutes. Then we should talk about last season's rookie sensation, Shaden Sharp. He was the big mystery of the 2022 NBA draft, as he had reclassified and never played in college. So coming into the draft, all we had was high school highlights and workout clips, but the Blazers were right to take a chance on him as he had a lot of elite flashes last season. 
He has an insane vertical and often blocks shots with his head above the rim and catches crazy lobs. He likely benefited the most from Dame missing time towards the end of last season. It left a lot of shots open for the taking, and he took advantage. He played 10 games after Lillard went out last season, and in those games, he averaged 24 points, 6 rebounds, and 4 assists per game. It was an impressive showing from him, and he handled being the lead option well. He was also surprisingly efficient, shooting 46% from the field and 38% from 3. It only raised the hype surrounding him, and made people more excited for his future. He probably should realistically be a shooting guard, but the Blazers seem to be interested in making him a small forward moving forward. Anthony Simons is one of the most underrated players in the league today. He's a very gifted scorer and is a player that can become an all-star. At 24 years old, he's already been in the league for 5 seasons. Spending all that time with Lillard has also clearly had an impact on him as well, as he has become a near clone of the way that he plays. Last season was his best yet, as he averaged 21 points and 4 assists per game, while shooting 38% from 3 on 9 attempts per game. But those don't tell the level he's really reached, because when Lillard was out, he stepped right into his role. In 11 games without Dame last season, he averaged 28 points and 6 assists per game. We could see that level more frequently this season. Then we should talk about the highest paid player on the team now, Jeremy Grant. He doesn't fit with the current core at 29 years old, but he'll be very valuable to the team this season. Last season, he averaged 21 points and 5 rebounds per game, while shooting a career-high 40% from 3. He plays both ends of the floor very well, and will generate a lot of trade interest this season. It will be interesting to see how much of Lillard's points he absorbs. He could be a 25 point per game guy. Then they have an interesting collection of other young guys as well. Jabari Walker was a second round pick for the team last season, and he could emerge as an important role player. Chris Murray was a first round pick for the Blazers this year, and is the twin brother of Keegan Murray, who showed out for the Kings in his rookie year last season. He's not the same shooter as his brother, but will likely be an important role piece for the team. John Butler is a very interesting player, standing at 7 foot 1 and just 175 pounds. He's even more extreme body-wise than Chet and Wemby are. Kevin Knox is reported as returning this season, and he finally looked like he was putting it together when he joined the Blazers last year. In terms of lineup, the starters for the Blazers should be Scoot, Simons, Sharp, Grant, and Yusuf Nurkic, but he might get traded too. Then the second unit should be Keon Johnson, Matisse Thibel, Knox, Nasir Little, and Butler. Guys like Walker, Murray, and Ibu Baji could get minutes as well. So what should we expect from Portland in 2024? On the low end, they could have the worst record in the NBA, but that's okay, again, since they're rebuilding. On the high end, they could be a nice surprise and compete for the play-in tournament, but the West is extremely tough this season. It shouldn't be about winning for Portland. They could have an all-star in one of Grant or Simons if they overachieve. This season should be about experience for the three guys, Simons, Sharp, Scoot, and then whoever they get back for Dame. They could be similar to what we've seen from the Pistons, Thunder, and Magic over the last few years. But the Trailblazers have an insanely bright future, and I expect that to be shown this season. Thanks for watching. I'm Herm. Have a good one.